Hey there, welcome, welcome back. I hope everybody's doing good out there today. Today I'm gonna to be getting into some more um, Maximum, the Hormone. It has been way too long since I listened to this band. Um, these guys are absolutely amazing. I, I really enjoy what they do. Um, today, the song I'm gonna be doing, and I'm, I'm not even gonna to try to pronounce the Japanese um, title. I've looked at it over and over again, and I just, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> my my um, translation is so bad. Or my pronunciation of Japanese words are so bad. Um, but it, the English translation is the song of the depressed people. I don't know what that means. I don't know if this is going to be like a slower, you know, slow song, kind of a serious song. I'm not sure because the, the, the um, first frame of the video that I have up looks like they're screwing around. So I don't know. Uh, it, it'll, it'll, it'll come. Um, this was requested by, and I apologize if I mess, mess up your name, Tasake. Um, I'm excited for this. Like I said, it's been way too long since I've listened to this band. I love their style. I love that the, it's this controlled chaos, and, and it's just so much fun to listen to, and it's always fun to watch. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And... Um, their, their music videos um, are always really fun too, so I'm really excited for this. Real quick, I did want to remind you, I do have a Patreon, the link will be down in the description. Most of my reactions go up there at least a day in advance, and if you join the Blades tier, you get two Patreon chat requests every month, doesn't matter what it is, how obscure, how crazy, if you love it, I want to hear it. If you want to donate a little more directly, I do have my PayPal and my Cash App down in the description. Um, if there's a song you want me to listen to that I, that I just, haven't gotten around to but you want me to listen to it quick best way for that to happen is to make a request with a donation because any request that comes in with a donation goes straight to the top of the list i do it as quick as i can usually within just a day or two um i can't tell you how much i appreciate y'all's support it really does mean everything but anyways i want to get to this because like i said it's been way too long since i've um listened to maximum the hormone so here we go with maximum the hormone Song of the Depressed People. <laughs> and the, <laughs> the one of them's face is on a pillow. Okay, before we get into the main song, that the the way he's he's um you he, he stresses his voice when he sings, where it sounds like he does. Um, he does that a lot and through you know long songs, so I can imagine it's not really stressed, but the way he squeezes. Um, but the way that this song is starting is it gives me a feeling of i don't know um god um i don't know i it, it, it had a familiar feel not like a, a song i've heard before but a style i've heard before with just the guitar just strumming like almost like a cafe you know you something you'd see a, a guy sitting in the guitar in a cafe nice quiet but his vocal style, um, what's his name? Is this, um, who's, sorry, I, I should know these guys. This is the, the screaming vocals, so I, I, I'm assuming it's um, Daisuke Han. Um, possibly, I, I could be wrong. Um, it, it, it's, it gives it a, a, a edge to it, but it definitely sounds like something you'd walk into a little, a little, you know, almost hipster type bar or something like that. I know it's about to go go hardcore, or it sounded like it was about to, but I just with just that simple, you know, chord progression on the guitar with him singing again in that style that he does, where he's all it's it's like almost screaming, um, but. It just, for some reason, that's the feeling I got from it. Ooh, 
I love that guitar. And the bass. Hold on, so, sorry, 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 sorry. I know it's early and I've already stopped it twice. I'm actually going to go back to the whole beginning. Um, or not the, 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 the beginning of where it picks up. That first section had like a pop to it. Not not pop music, but pop, you know, it made me want to, you know, hop up and jump, which isn't easy for me to do with my bad knees. But, um, but it felt almost punk, very punky. I don't know if I'd say pop punk, but it gave me this, this, this jump feel to it. And then it went dark and thick and metal. And I love that. Um, I'm loving the guitar. Um, the Suki is again, is doing on the guitar. No, wait, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, that's, um, Maximum the Rhino, a raccoon. Oh my God! I'm I'm I, every time I do their music, that, one of their videos, I murder their their names, and I apologize. Um, that's Max Maximum the uh, Rokuin, um, or just Rokuin, I guess what I'll call him. Um, the guitar is just so thick. You know, in that first section, it was like light and and jumpy. Then when it went into the metal section, it was deep and dark and just thick. Um, the bass player is, um, um, Yu Chang, which I believe y'all told me that, um, Yu Chang and Nao, the, the drummer who I love, are brother and sister. Um, I have finally drilled that through my brain that they are brother and sister. Um, but that bass line was really good. Really enjoyed that. I love the change. It was so good. So listen to this first part. That's why I love that guitar part. And the bass. Snares on the upbeat. This is hard. This is badass. This band has so much energy. It makes me want to jump around and bounce around. I can't help it. Um, so I, I, I've got I've, I've got who's who back under. I, I know every time I watch one of their songs, it takes me about half the song to get a grip grip on who's who, and then I get it. And then for some reason I lose it when I go to the next song, next time I listen to them. So. Um, Daisuke Han is the um, the 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 harsh vocals and the, the guy just singing. Um, he has a great harsh. It's not even guttural. It's screaming, and it it, it matches up so well with Ryokan's um, 
clean. It's it it says he's he does clean vocals, but this isn't really clean. It's it's pretty um, uh, distorted as well. But their mat their voices match up really well. I, and I did. I'm I'm pretty sure it was um, Ryukon who was doing the vocals at the beginning um, during the little just quiet guitar section. Um, and then when Unchang and Nao join in vocals, their their voices match up really well. I love that section where um, uh, Ryokun started it and then Nao finished it. And it, they, their voices really did match up really well. I'm loving what Nao's doing on the drums. She is just... she. There's a reason why she's the basically the the grand you know the the grandmother of all these other amazing drummers that are coming out of japan i know a lot of them really do idolize her and you can tell why she is such an energetic precise drummer and it's really fun to listen to her play this is good i love this i love the change-ups the you know it goes from you know happy feeling uplifting feeling to dark and dirty feeling just right back to back. Really dig that. This is really good. Okay, that section right there. Listen to Nao's drums. They're, her um, her bass drums and the snare are popping so forward. And um, it's just so precise. Like I said, I like to call these guys just pure chaos. But it's not. It, it sounds like it, but it's not. They are very precise. Which kind of goes against the whole, um, you know, chaos... Um, feel that the music has but listen to her drumming in this section it is so incredibly perfect Okay, another thing I love about Nao, I know I'm concentrating on her so much, but it's just I love a great drummer. I love how much she headbangs while she's playing. So it's like, you know, her legs are doing you know their, their thing, her arms are doing her, her, those things, and then her head is adding into it just the, the extra uh, movement that she's, ha that she's doing while still playing really well. This is a great song. I really love, you know, I'm, I'm not catching exactly what it's about, um, I mean, the, the name kind of calls it out, and they keep showing this one guy in the middle of them or, you know, scenes with himself where he's obviously depressed and stuff, but I don't, and it's, you know, it's always a heavy subject when you talk about that type of stuff, but this is a feel-good song. I'm, I'm, I don't know if it's about 
coming out of your depression or just living through it, letting it play through and then, you know, come out that way. But the song itself sounds like it's, it's, it's a therapeutic, um, which I've always found hardcore metal, very ther therapeutic. Um, I know that sounds weird to some people, but if I'm down, I want to listen to really aggressive, fast, loud music and it really helps. But I'm loving the changes, change ups from this very, um, I keep almost saying poppy part of it, which I guess is kind of a pop punk feel to it. And then it drops down into this minor key, dark, you know, heavy stuff. And I'm really digging it. This is really cool. <laughs> Wow, this is almost pretty. Okay, I've heard them do that a couple of times. It's really cool because this is such a fast moving section of the song. But then they like, there, there's like a two beat section where they stretch um, one thing out and then they go back into it. It's a really cool, almost throws you off. Listen. <laughs> Okay, that was cool. I'm wondering if there is there anything else? Are we just looking at this door? Okay, I was just wondering if something was going to happen with the story line with the the guy, the guy in the video. Um, okay, that was Maximum the Hormone song for the depressed people. That was that was a good freaking song. The, these four are so fun. And there's so much just raw energy in their music that I can't I can't sit still when I'm listening to it. This is this is not you know sit down quiet time now listen to some music and don't move around a lot. You gotta move around. You gotta move. This would be good driving music, although I'd be ba bouncing out of the driver's seat. Um, that was a great song. Really, really enjoyed it. The, the, these guys are just incredible at what they do of, of you know presenting themselves as very chaotic just loud aggressive you know, uh, type music and but if you listen to it really specifically it's really detailed and complicated um really loved it this was really great i i, I really love this song um if you guys like this video give it a like comment subscribe hit the notification bell thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time